In today's video, I'll be showing you how to forward a domain using Google Domains. And what this will look like is when you type in the URL that you're forwarding, so for example, if I'm going to do forward.andystrong.dev and I decide to forward it at google.com, as soon as I click enter, uh, the address will actually change to google.com and the Google homepage will load. So this is how the redirect will function once you have successfully set yours up. So to begin, go ahead and go to Google Domains, go to your specific domain that you want to work with, and then on the left hand side, click on website and you should see a screen very similar to this. And once you're on this screen, go ahead and just click on setup forwarding. And then once you see this screen, the first thing you wanna notice is that it shows two different URLs that will forward from. So just make sure these are the two URLs that you want to be forwarding from. If not, go ahead and click edit. And in this example, I'll just be doing the example I showed you earlier. So it'll just be forward.andytrong.dev. And then the second input that you see here is the website you wanna to forward to. So in the example I mentioned earlier, I'll just do google.com and go ahead and expand the advanced options. And here you have a couple of different options that you can choose from. And the first option is just whether you want this to be a 301 or 302. The second option is just if you want to enable path forwarding or not. And the last option is just to forward over SSL. Once you decide the exact options you want, go ahead and just click forward and let it load. And now once it's loaded, you see a screen very similar to this, letting you know what website it's forwarding to and which URLs it's forwarding from. And these changes take a couple hours to take effect, but hopefully after a couple hours when you check back, your redirect should be working. And now it's been a couple hours and my redirect is currently working. So now if I go to this URL and hit enter, you'll see it now redirect me directly to google.com. And those are all the steps that you need to know in order to set up your own domain forwarding on Google Domains. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.